Hello everyone, I'm Chung Wu, and today I'm going to present our work RP OBOD Open Vocabulary Object Detection by Linear Problem. And this is a joint work with Chou Fa and Phu Nguyen. Some of the challenges of object detection in real scenarios are first, people cannot annotate all object categories in a set for object detection task. Also, new classes can appear when deploying autonomous or virtual reality applications. Next, we describe the problem. Uh, in the training time, we are only given the base categories, and the test time, we also have to predict bounding boxes corresponding to unseen categories. So, for example, given toy as a base class, we need to predict novel classes such as toy elephant and toy crocodile. And given this setting, we have to detect novel classes without seeing any examples during training. In addition, we have to maintain good performance for base classes uh, during inference. With regard to prior work, there is BILD, which uses the text embeddings of vision language model clip to enable the detection of novel objects. However, this has some limitations which is low quality proposals such as overcovered or undercovered bounding boxes can coexist with high quality ones with the same similarity scores to their text embeddings. So for example, a lot of undercovered uh, bounding boxes for the bus have high score which is 1.0 and this is because clip is trained on images without object location information and this figure in the second row those are uh, box proposals with more precise uh, scores obtained by our approach. Our finding is that the features extracted from the penultimate layer of a faster RCNM model are highly discriminative among novel classes, as shown in the left. Furthermore, when we shift the top proposals for novel categories, the embeddings for these boxes are also well separated. Therefore, we propose learning a linear layer on top of that uh, penultimate layer for the novel classes using top rigid boxes as uh, pseudo labels. Here's an overview of our approach. After pre chaining on base classes, we receive top relevant proposals as pseudo labels and train a uh, linear classifier for novel classes. We also propose using sigmoid classifiers instead of traditional softmax which uh, predict class scores independently and forming an unified classifier for both base and novel classes during testing. We conduct experiments on popular benchmarks Coco, Elvis, and we do transfer learning to objects uh, 365 and Pascal VOC. We follow the standard evaluation metric, which is AP50 for cocoa based and novel classes, and mass AP for rare, frequent, and common in Elvis. Our qualitative results suggest that our method outperforms baseline methods uh, such as BILD, DEPRO, and region clip on cocoa benchmark when equipped with uh, OPIT which is a larger scale open vocabulary object detector and we use as the object proposals our method can further boost the results also suggest that uh, our method can uh, even improve uh, with a uh, larger backbone. We also performed ablation studies on the number of retrieved proposals per novel class, contribution of each proposal component and types of features for learning the sigmoid classifier. Finally, we saw some qualitative results on the COCO and have this benchmark for visual comparison. Thank you for listening.